Hey guys, this is John from US Dash Camera. Today you got a new review on a budget Thinkware model. This is the F200 Pro. So Thinkware did send this review unit out to me, so I'd like to thank them for supporting my channel. But of course I will give my honest opinion on the camera. Now I wanted to point out that there is two versions of F200 Pro. This one is just the single channel version. The other one I believe is the Pro D or F200D, something like that. Um, that one is a two-channel system, and right away I'm gonna recommend don't go with the single-channel version. It's only like 20 or $30 more for the two-channel version with a rear camera. It's totally worth it, and I'll explain a couple of reasons why. One of the reasons I was saying you should definitely get the F200 Pro two-channel version is that actually comes with a hardwiring kit. This one did not come with a hardwiring kit. So that alone makes quite a better deal in addition to getting the second rear channel camera. Both the front and rear are 1080p. I would say I'm a little disappointed with that. I think this model's been out for a while now, so maybe I'm just a little too late to the party. But, but in 2022, I'd really expect to see this at least be 1440p, even though this is a budget model. But there are several reasons why you still might want this camera. Now one of the th things I always really loved about Thinkware is they have really great audio notifications. Although some people think they're really annoying, you can turn them off. Continuous recording will now start. So if you're using parking mode, when you start your car, it'll actually alert you how many times it sensed an impact. I believe you can also have it tell you how many times it sensed a motion. But that, on my previous camera, got sort of annoying because it's going to where I park it's gonna see stuff non-stop all day but there's other notifications too like when you hit the Wi-Fi button on your smartphone connect to a Wi-Fi network whose name starts with Thinkware now they did not have a hardwiring kit for me to test this with uh, they were out of stock so unfortunately I wasn't able to test that but I do know that this does have the same great parking mode that other Thinkware cameras of the last few years have had I'll talk about parking mode a little bit later. As I said, it's only 1080p and, and it's actually only 30 frames per second. The quality, even in the daytime, just doesn't look that sharp compared to a lot of newer cameras, but again, I think this camera's already a few years old, so I'm probably just late to the party. But uh, during the nighttime, it also doesn't look that great. There's definitely better looking cameras out there at night. But it is pretty typical for cameras to look worse at night. Even the cameras with the best night quality look significantly worse than during their, the daytime footage. Now for parking mode, what I really like about Thinkware, besides the notifications for any impacts it detected, it does have a couple different modes. The most important one is the automatic buffered parking mode. And by automatic, what that means is as soon as you turn the vehicle off, its three-wire hardwiring kit will know your car's off and instantly switches to parking mode. The buffered means it's constantly buffering 10 or 15 seconds on its own internal memory, and if it senses motion or an impact, it'll save that previous 15 seconds and then an additional 15 seconds after the event. Now, if it continues to sense motion, it'll continue to keep recording. That is a feature that some of the cheaper competitors are starting to actually get in their cameras now though. So it's worth pointing out that this standout feature that used to be pretty unique to Thinkware and Blackview is more common in other cheaper brands now. One of the other parking mode options is the power saving mode, which is more of what cheaper cameras use where it doesn't buffer the video, it goes into a deeper sleep to save power and then if it senses an impact then it'll wake up and start recording and it's usually pretty quick a lot of older cheaper cameras would take as long as three or five seconds to start recording after an impact but thinkware does record pretty instantly one other option is the time lapse function where you can just have it record two seconds at a time and that helps save battery if you park in an area that has constant motion and you don't want constant full 30 frames per second being recorded at a time and that also actually more so probably is to save memory card space. 
Now talking about parking mode is a good time to transition to the Wi-Fi app. Thinkware's Wi-Fi app has been very great for many years and it's very easy to connect to. Of course it's got all of the standard features such as viewing a live feed so you can set the angle of your camera or viewing files and copying to your phone if you want to save a clip. One of the features I really like that I don't think that I've seen any other company currently that Thinkware has had for several years now is you can set priority to certain file types. And what that means is if you want to set the priority to parking, then it'll reserve more space on your memory card specifically for those types of files. So you might have a 128 gigabyte memory card, but you don't need 10 hours of continuous driving mode footage because if you get in an accident, more than likely it'll stop recording after and you can save that memory card. Where it personally helped me was when my U1000 was in parking mode and some drunk people got in a fight and dented the side of my truck. I didn't even notice the dent for two weeks, but because I had parking priority set on my U1000 from Thinkware, I was able to go two weeks back and still find that clip and it was tagged as a parking mode impact. So that's some feature that I think really stands out with Thinkware. One other feature I don't think any other brands that I've used, at least in the last few years, that Thinkware has is it can detect speed traps or I, I believe that's through GPS but GPS does not come with this. That is an optional add-on, so that is something to consider. In my state, though, we don't have speed traps, or we don't have the cameras that can give you a ticket for speeding. It's considered unconstitutional, so I have no way of testing that. This camera also does have the typical advanced driver assistance system that Thinkware puts in their cameras, but personally, after using them several times. I just find them more annoying and I don't think they're actually going to help save me if I, for example, fall asleep. The lane departure warning just isn't going to do enough if I'm actually falling asleep. I think those features really have to be built into the car. Otherwise, to me, it's just sort of a gimmick. But Thinkware is not the only company that does this feature. A lot of companies do and I've just never been a fan of it in any camera. So this camera in the two-channel bundle comes in at $160 currently. I believe the single channel version is $120 or $130. That's why I was saying like the two channel version is such a better deal. To be able to get that 1080p in the rear also it's very important for parking mode especially if you pull into parking spots. You want to be able to see behind you and that bundle does come with the hard wiring kit. So I'll provide links down in the description to where you can purchase this from either Amazon or Black Box My Car. Certain orders will get a discount from Black Box My Car. So check those out down in the description. Overall guys, the video quality, like I said, it's disappointing because I think this camera is just using older hardware and they definitely need an upgrade. Um, but as I said, I really still like the parking mode and Thinkware cameras. I think it is one of the best in the industry. So if you want to sacrifice video quality for a better parking mode, this is definitely an option to look into if you're trying to spend under $200. Guys, if this video is helpful, I'd appreciate if you hit like and subscribe. Check out my other reviews from companies like Blackview and Viafo. They're a couple of the main competitors that offer similar cameras with pros and cons different than this one. They're definitely worth checking out. So guys, as usual, drive safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.